Hi, welcome to JotForm. My name is George, and today I'm going to show you how to share your JotForm table. So follow me to my desktop right now. Okay, this is our JotForm dashboard, and to get started to share a JotForm table, we're going to head on over to our form. We're going to click on Submissions, and this will open up JotForm tables. Now let's go ahead and click on Share. And now we have the share settings when we click on them. We have three types of options. Let's go one by one. First is private table. That means that when you share the link, they will only have access if you give them the invite. What does that mean? Well, you have options to give them read only. That means they can only view the table. They cannot edit. And then we have the collaborator, which can view and also edit. And we can also apply some limitations like show the print button, show the download button, and we can also set an expiration for the shared link. So if you want it to expire in a month, we can set it right here. We'll keep it off for now. When we go back, we give them access invite by email. So in this case, we'll invite someone. We'll click right there and we can give them read only or collaborator. We have the option right here. In this case, we'll give them collaborator. For example, you can add more emails right here and add an invitation message if we like. And we can send that invitation. Now it's been sent. Now, if we click on shared with, we can see who we've sent this access to. And we can also change the read only or collaborator later on if you want to revoke that access or if you just want to delete them. Okay, let's go back, share settings. And now we have the public table. Public table means that if you share the link, they can view it. They do not get collaborator access and we don't give collaborator access to them. So you only have the read only option right here. And in apply limitations, you can show the print button or not if you want to allow that. Next, we have the company access available if you want to add access to your organization. This is based on the domain. For example, require organization email domain. It's really important that you don't give access, for example, to Gmail accounts, to Yahoo, Hotmail, and all those free type of emails. So make it a private domain. For example, in this case, it could be jobform.com. And we know that when they come with that email, they can have access to the company access, or we can have required SSO. We can invite to read only and apply limitations for the print button if we like. Let's go back. This is the invitation link, either if it's a private or the public link that you want to set. We can generate a new link if we want to uh, update it, if we want to change our minds later on. And basically, that is how you share your job form tables. Well, we thank you all for watching. We hope you like this tutorial. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you later.